Hello subscribers. Today I will be answering a question which uh, appeared as one of the comments under a video on YouTube. And this person, he or she, were asking how would the abomination, that thing which you read of, the mark of revelation, in verses 17 to 18, how's, how does that tie in with the, uh, with the cryptocurrency system and the beast system? That thing, the abomination that has been injected into so many over 5 billion it's been estimated to be around that figure. Anyway, this is the, the patent which you are already familiar with, the cryptocurrency system using body activity data. In order for this system to function, you would need to have a whole circuit. Okay, and with the human body, it would be no exception. You would want to have what is called the AI interface, the human AI interface. So how would that human interact with the beast system? So let's make our way to the comment first. So the comment is here, and uh, this lady, she said that she, I will read it as it is, I am trying to understand how the mark is the, you see it there, if you can still buy and sell, or is that, or that it will turn into not being able to buy and sell in the future. So we will be replying that question. So this one that you're seeing here, DC schools will expel students who choose not to get that thing. There will be many others like it. There are many others, in fact. You will be hearing of them. All right, so this is just one. Although this is somewhat not related, I decided to put it in. So, I'm sure you've heard of the social credit score scoring, social credit score system. This is one of the proposed ones. It may not be the ultimate social credit core system that will be used globally, but this will, it will, will give you a good idea of how such a system would operate. There is going to be a pilot uh, program of such social scoring system in Italy, and later I will show you a map a global map where places have already started implementing it. Others are still uh, in, an, in an experimental phase with it, but you will get the idea of how this is moving forward at a very fast pace. So basically, society will be broken down into four fractions here. And the names may not be necessarily the same, ultimately, within this system. So here it says, uh, ignore the percentages, because this was a poll. 
first you would have the uh, people in the common class, those who are up to date with all the injections, those who have taken all the injections, they would be up to date and they would be allotted um, a un a, an amount of currency which would amount to 1,000 uh, USDR. So that right now they're, they, they're calling that currency that would be used in the social credit core system uh, as USDR, but it might change the name of the currency, but that's, that's irrelevant. They will be getting 1,000 USDR. And they will also be entitled to have around 5K in assets, but they have to be fully up to date with all the injections. The second class would be the restricted. Uh, they could be companies or even individuals who have uh, um, who have lost points uh, by misbehaving, um, or they aren't up to date with the injections. So their uh, their universal basic income per month would drop from one thousand to five hundred. The next class would be the quarantined. Those are uh, the ones who have not received a single injection, not even one. And it says here that they would receive 250 uh, USDR per month. But I suspect, this is, this, is just, this is just my suspicion, that a fine would be imposed upon the quarantined people in this section, and the fine would possibly be equivalent to at least 250 USDR. So 250 minus 250 would amount to zero. They would have a zero income per month. And finally, the sovereign class, those are the uh, filter rich, the billionaires, and uh, there is uh, no limit on their assets, there's no limit on their bank account, and they have no requirements for injections. Sorry about that. So this is the whistleblower um, that I will not mention by name. Some of you are familiar. And he said that uh, that thing will be required one month after this system that we're talking about, the social credit score system, comes online. And if you do not comply, you will lose all your money. And he continues to say that they will deduct it from your account, then they will send out a sheriff or a police officer to your home and they will try to persuade you to take that thing. And within two months, if you are still uh, refusing that thing, they will send in military drones. The drones are not there to kill you. They are there to force the thing into your body. Do you remember that swarm of drones, that video of the swarm of drones, as they navigated speedily and effortlessly through a thick thicket of trees without hitting any of the trees in that dense forest. Well, the technology is certainly here to hunt down those who refuse to take the abomination. And he goes on to say that they will do it in the dead of the night when you are asleep. 
the drones are very advanced, very powerful, they have dozens of different designs. They will come inside your house and they will try to force that thing into you. This is their in this is their plan and it is fully in motion and it is coming very soon. Now a drone may be hacked by intercepting the signal between the drone itself and the person controlling it. Many drones are encrypted, use encrypted communication, but it would be impossible if the signal is encrypted, such as you would expect from the military, from military drones. If unencrypted, this allows the hacker to use a packet sniffer to determine how communication is occurring. The attacker interceptor can then impersonate the drone operator and begin issuing commands. GPS spoofing is often used for this purpose. This involves feeding the drone with false coordinates. However, as I already said, if, if this drone is using encrypted communication, it would be impossible to intercept the drone. And this is a map, and it shows you, and here you have the legend down here, where central banks have issued, issued digital currencies already. So they have been launched. They are under development or considered around the world. So here you have the legend. The dark green is currently issued. Then we have green, it's pilot, a pilot study, such as the one that's happening in Italy. The pale green, it's indicating that they have plans to issue currency. And the yellow zones, are they're still exploring digital currency. So, as you can see, we have some grey zones at the moment, but they will soon be uh, forced into the system, because the system cannot work unless everybody is participating in it. Now, I wanted to read some scripture for you. I will list some scripture also in the uh, description box and I also have a couple of links for you to look into. Very important. So let's see. So by now, we know that this is the mark from Revelation chapter 13, verses 16 to 18. We also, um, we also discussed in the latest video before this one that it is unrighteous to deny the truth. And it is even more unrighteous and deceiving for someone to come and say that it isn't the mark of the truth. And if it's a, a pastor, somebody who's guiding a flock, and he is telling his flock to take this thing, he is deceiving them. And he will be responsible. He has blood on his hands. Now, Philippians chapter 3, verse 18 reads, For many walk, of whom I have told you often, and now tell you, even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, 
and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. Yes, they are the enemies of the cross of Christ, those who are telling you that this abomination is not the mark of the beast. This abomination is the mark of the beast. There is no question about it. And I will leave you with one last verse. Given the context of what we were uh, reading about just now, about drones hunting those who have not received that thing into them. And Isaiah 26, verse 20 to 21 reads, Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were, for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth she also shall disclose her blood, and shall no more cover her slain. Just wanted to bring up this verse from Revelation very quickly. The drones hunting, you know, those who refuse to take the abomination kind of reminds me of these verses. In Revelation chapter 9 and verse 4 reads, And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the cross of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion, when he strike it a man. So it makes you wonder. What if there are people who have not received the abomination, but they have not come to Christ and they do not have the seal of God in their foreheads? Would, the, would they be more vulnerable to the drones, which are hunting, you know, all those who have refused the abomination? I'm just asking a question here. So, please... Um, I ask you to share this video, I ask you to like, subscribe and share. And if you haven't come to the Lord Jesus Christ, we are living in a very late hour. In fact, we are on borrowed time. Time is no more. Um, I please, I ask you, I urge you to, um, to come to repentance, to ask Jesus Christ to come into your life, to come into your heart, that he may take the reins of your life that he may guide your feet and be a light unto you in these very dark days indeed. And Romans chapter 10 verse 13 reads, For whosoever calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. God bless you all.